Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Beat here back on the Madden 17, and today we got to play in the KC playbook, man. That's the Chiefs playbook, the bench swap in the gun snugs flip. This is a nice, simple, easy play. Very simple setup. Two ways to set it up. Either I slant on my A receiver or I curl him. So this time I'm going to curl him. I'm going to do a snap the ball, and I got a nice curl flat concept, and I have a Z spot concept. So what it does is it pulls the user to either stop with the curl route or continue on with the um, with that post route. So we're going to snap the ball. This time we're just going to go ahead and take our check down to our A receiver. And you guys can see it does a very good job at splitting the zones. Um, and it also, both of the zones on that right side are going to pull back the zones to leave the flat open for a nice check down as well. Um, so let's go ahead and run it that way. One up. Oh, I'm sorry, I accidentally curled the wrong person there. So don't mind this. That uh, that was that was my stupidity. Let's go ahead and curl that A receiver one more time. Snap this ball. This time we got man coverage. We're just gonna go ahead and hit our B receiver. And of course the man coverage gets mirrored by no other. Is that Claiborne? Somehow Claiborne is going to mirror my man coverage. Give me a break. This is goal line. We're just gonna dump it off to the flats. This is probably a pretty decent play to run in goal line. Um, but I would probably just out route the B receiver instead. Once again we got the flats. We also had our A receiver as well. But it seems like they like to play over the top a little bit more whenever you play practice mode. So that's why a lot of the times the flats are going to be open. What good throw, man. That's why a lot of the time the flats are going to be open whenever I run these plays. And I don't want to hit the flats over and over again, but I have to hit what they're giving me. Once again, the flats are open. And like I said, I don't want to hit the flats every time, but they never make the adjustment to shade underneath. So a lot of the times the flats are going to be open. But whenever they do start shading underneath, that time my A receiver was open. But I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get another read in here, to be completely honest. Um... Uh, but whenever they, oh, I slant, I'm sorry, I curled the wrong person, never mind that too. Um, but whenever they do shade underneath, you're going to be able to hit them over the top of the, that A receiver or the B receiver. Once again, God, Doriel Greenback never picks up that block. Once again, they don't shade underneath, so that's why I'm hitting the flats. And I really don't like hitting the flats every single play. But it, this is man coverage. A receiver is usually open, but I waited just a little bit too long to throw the ball. Um, snap the ball this time. Man coverage again, going to just low pass my A receiver to Ertz. Speaking of Ertz, I think he's going to be playing... He should be back this week, so I picked him up in fantasy. Snap the ball this time. We're going to pass lead our curl or our um, post route to the outside. And that's really all there is for this play. Alternatively, you could totally motion the A receiver over like this. And then you could flat out the um, flat out the Y receiver and then slant the A receiver like this. And this is a cool way I like to run this play as well. Um, see this time the middle of the field is open so that's who we hit this is that's a really cool way to run it as well but you got to keep in mind you're motioning that guy over there so that's another way to run it and also you could just slant the A receiver to the middle of the field running it like this and the A receiver is going to get open a lot because he's the only guy going over the middle of the field so in conclusion guys we could run it by curling the A receiver just like that snap the ball of course the flats are going to be open this time and that's the first one or you could just, if we could hurry up here, slant this A receiver, snap the ball. If the flats are open, take it. If not, the curl is open. And this time, actually, that was a pretty cool concept that it came down. Either he was going to have to play the out route or play the slant. And that he played the slant, so we hit that out route. I'm going to instant replay and show you guys that when the slant goes across the middle of the field, both are initially covered. The slant is open right here if I hit him. But I see that he's backing up to play the slant. And uh, so I just hit the out route right there because the guy decided to play the slant instead of the out route. And then, like I said, we could motion over that A receiver as well, give him a slant just like that, and then flat out the Y receiver, snap the ball, and then one of them is going to be open. This time it's the slant over the middle of the field. That's a pretty cool way of running it as well. And that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, definitely give it a like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It's going to be down in the description below. If you're on the group channel, check out my channel. If you're on my channel, check out the group channel. All that good stuff. Don't forget to check out my live streams. Also in the description below. And as always, peace.